Hi, I'm Andy. And I'm Jack. We're here for the comic book bin uh, that's been filling you in since 2002. Uh, six months ago, we released our first version of the mobile site, and now we're going to demo the very first version of our iPhone application. Okay, so what do you get when you fire this thing up? Uh, well, Andy, when you start this thing up, you'll notice it starts in landscape mode in the article section. Now, as you know, uh, comicbookbin.com is one of the largest comic book websites uh, on the internet today. Uh, they have over 10,000 articles, including news, interviews, and reviews. Um, and you'll notice that the articles here start in order from most recent um, and go all the way back to the beginning. Um, now, in landscape mode, you'll notice that it works as somewhat of a gallery of the different covers. So you'll see the various images. Now, when you want to find out a little bit more information about the article that you're looking for, you simply click on the image, it brings up a little bit of information about that article, and let's say that isn't the article that you're looking for, you would just click outside the gray window, and it takes you right back to the gallery until you find one that you were looking for, and then you just click read. So up above the gallery, you'll notice there's a search bar. So let's say you wanted to search for a specific comic book. Batman. Batman, okay. So we simply click on the bar, type in Batman. And voila. Brings up all articles relating to Batman. Okay, what about multi-term searches, like if I want to look for a Batman and Robin, for example? It does that as well. So let's just add on. Robin, and we give you everything relating to uh, Batman and Robin. Now, once again, this you can also view in either landscape mode or in portrait mode. In portrait mode, you don't get the images, you just get a list of the uh, various articles, but you get the same information. And that's the full article when you click on it. And the full article, that's right. When you're done in portrait mode, you simply just click done, and it brings you right back there. Now, over to the left here, once we're back in landscape mode, you'll notice there's three buttons on the left. Articles, which we've already demonstrated, stores, and expo. Now, when we click on the expo button, we'll bring up a list of any expos, comic book conventions. Okay, cool, sorted by date, and showing me where, where it is and when it is. Um, once again, you can view that either in portrait or in landscape mode. You'll also notice, and I saved the best for last here, the stores button. Now let's say that you were traveling somewhere, you were in a city you weren't familiar with, and you wanted to find a comic store. You simply click on the store button, it'll access the yellow pages and bring up any comic book related stores in the area. No, well, based, on, based on uh, my actual location. Based on your actual location. Now, here's the best part about this. You simply click on the name, it brings up Google Maps, pinpoints your location, shows you right where that comic book store is. You can zoom in, you can see exactly how to get there. Or, if you click on the pin, it will bring up the comic book store's name. You click on that little blue arrow beside the name. You can see all the information regarding the comic store. Address, phone number, website if they have any. Now let's say you were doing this on your iPhone. You simply click on the phone number, and that will automatically dial you through to the comic store. Very cool. As you can see, you can view it in portrait form. So it looks like it's showing me even um, stores located outside the city. And that that application there can locate any stores within 25 miles of your current location. So you'll see your pin, the little blue dot, and then you'll see the red pin, which is the comic store. And you can see how to get there, or if you click on that pin, it will bring up the name of the store, and you just click that little blue arrow beside it, and it'll provide, the, provide you with any uh, contact information, phone number, website, address, so what if, uh, what if I'm a uh, French person and I'm looking for Bay Day rather than comics? Well, the nice thing about this app is it accesses the word comic in over five different languages. So even if you were in France or Italy, it would access uh, that word. 
look for any stores um, with that word in the title and uh, provide you with the same information you saw here. Very cool. You'll we'll also notice the little comic book bin dot on the website uh, logo in the bottom left corner. Click on that. We'll bring up a little bit of information about the website. We'll provide you with an email link as well as a direct website link.